everybody welcome to puppy box for you with our ultimate dog washing system I've had a few people ask how does it work <laughs> I guess it's a mystery so what we've done here is this is my uh, bathing tub uh, you need about a quarter of an uh, eighth of an inch of water so what I'm going to do is my normal water source which you can see goes into a tap or you might have it go into that tap wherever your normal water comes out that's what you will use to do your tub so get it temperature adjusted and put a little bit of water in your tub just enough that it covers I'll zip forward to when that's completed this is filling up just a little bit it doesn't take that long and I've added a little bit of soap so this is Griminator shampoo one squirt it's already diluted but I've just added one squirt in the tub. Do not use too much soap. I keep having to learn myself that cut back on the soap usage, which is great because I was having some allergies with my dogs and now I don't. This, it just takes so much, so little soap compared to when you just do it normally. So right now my tub is at a good height of water, more than what it needed to be. I'm shutting my water source off and I'm putting my recirculating ultimate dog washing system in place hopefully you can see that and I'll get my dog so I've enlisted the help of one of my little guinea pigs here <laughs> I'm not gonna do one of my coated breeds just because they're already show groomed so unfortunately I'll have to show you on a short coated breed which we will see how the system works just to give you an idea so you saw in the video how I've already added just a squirt of the Griminator shampoo dry dog I'm gonna show you I'm stepping on the starter pedal right now, both hands free. This pump here is four years old that I'm using right now, this dog washing system, maybe three years old. So you saw in an earlier video the amount of water that comes out. So this dog's gonna get all soapy. And you really do have to learn not to use too much soap. You can put the unit right against her skin. I take probably longer than my groomer does. You can use your hands if you want to rub it in. You don't have to, just use the unit. Put your head right against the dog's thick coat and it'll get right in there. So right now my dog is soapy and wet. So what do you do now? That's what I keep getting asked. Take your unit away from your drain. So it's rinsing right now. Take your normal water source supply, which is with me is my shower nozzle. And I have a tap up here, normal tap. So I'm getting an outside water supply. And I've already got this temperature adjusted. And right now I'm rinsing the dog. If I wanted to do anal glands, which is something I do do that not a lot of breeders do anymore, or sorry, groomers do anymore. There, my dog's done. I can do that simply after, very quick little sprooch. If anything comes out, just rinse it. Rinse it, done. So the recirculating system, bath the dog in way under five minutes. If I feel like I want to do her again, no problem. I just, maybe I want to use a nicer smelling shampoo. My plug back in and just fill up my tub again. <laughs> Make sure to have a nozzle in the tub. And it takes, just a couple seconds to put the tub at a uh, water in the tub at a level, which will work. 